Hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our second installment of our virtual In Goop Health Summit. This is um, something that we've been really looking forward to standing up. We have, um, you know, the power of our community at Goop is really very deeply felt. And um, it's been interesting and wonderful at this time for us to really tap back into our core mission of service and to connect a community of seekers who, who want to connect more deeply with themselves. Um, so to that end, we have decided that we're going to be doing these uh, once a week, every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to be bringing some of our favorite healers and doctors and thought leaders. Um, it's free. Um, if, if you would like to consider making a donation to Doctors Without Borders, it's an amazing organization. Um, they, are, they send medical aid um, to over 70 countries uh, where it's needed, and they've been incredible in re the response to the coronavirus. I myself uh, have donated, and I hope you will join me if you, if you see fit. Um, there is a, a donate button on the top right of this page, so um, if you have the means and you feel moved to do so, maybe do some research on them and, uh, and join me. Um, last week, Elise Lunin, I hope most of you saw, hosted a fantastic session with intuitive healer Dana Childs. And this week, I'm really excited to introduce Julianne Huff. She is, of course, a world-renowned dancer, and she's an Emmy winner, and she's an actress and a singer. Um, but maybe most significantly, she is the founder of an incredible method called Kinergy. Um, it, it has incorporated her dance background. I think we've, Julianne and I will talk about it further, but um, she's used movement of her body um, as a healing modality for herself. And out of that came this amazing uh, method. It's, it's got meditation and breath work. It uses the four elements um, and it's, it's strength training as well. So it's like a sculpt class for your mind and your body and your soul all at the same time. Who doesn't want that? So um, we are going to introduce Julianne in a minute and then we will, um, she's going to do a fantastic 15 minute practice with us. Um, right before she starts, you'll have a minute to clear your space. You just do it in bare feet. Um, but first, please, please join me in energetically welcoming Julianne Huff. Hello. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's very interesting, interesting times, to say the least. But um, we're hanging in there. How about you? I feel you. I feel like there is so much weight on my heart just knowing what's happening in the world and wanting to just feel and be there for everybody who is suffering and then also risking their lives by being on the front lines and then at the same time making sure that I'm not feeling too guilty at the same time for having this time also to reflect and go inward and, and really disconnect from the hustle and bustle of the outside world and actually enjoy some of this time that could be very stressful, but also finding that like in-between space where I can take what I'm learning from this moment and step into a new world when this is all done. So how are you doing that? What are the, some of the ways that you're finding time to do that? And, and what have been some of the findings that you have had through this process? I will say that probably like yourself, probably like a lot of people, we we thrive off of the energy of the world and um, creativity. And I think one thing that I have not always been great at is taking a lot of space for myself. So being at home, I really found a way to create a routine for myself 
So every morning I've been waking up somehow before the sunrise and going outside where I actually hear nature and the the birds singing for the first time really and taking it in. I, I do some breath work exercises. I write in my journal, my morning pages. So I've really created this ritual and this routine for myself that usually I would wake up and get ready and go and just be eating in my car on the way to work and doing certain things. So this time has really given me a pause to really connect to what's important to myself. And it's actually given me more space for creativity and for for new passion projects that are coming up that I didn't necessarily have the space for before. It's interesting how the, the quiet um, does lead to more self-reflection and more, more mindfulness. And it's incredible to me how for myself looking back on how busy I get and what what is the purpose of that busyness like what am I trying to not feel or what am I trying to not discover um, so it's been it's been a sort of fascinating time in that way I think for a lot of people yeah. no I know for me I mean one of the biggest things is is that because I love to create and that busyness um, just continues to go it, it kind of just takes me into a, a more energy, more energy, more energy, but it's not sustainable because then I end up feeling the extreme of like the fantasticness and then it's like crash central. So this is this is really had me ask those same questions like what's the point of it all if I'm just, you know, like and by the way, those are some heavy questions like what is the point? What is all of this for? Um, do I belong here? You know, there's I've had some really deep questions that I've been asking myself, like even being in Hollywood and all of the 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 the, the, the press and everything. Like, what is it all for? What what is this? But then, of course, as I have that conversation with myself, I think, oh, there's there's a bigger play here. There's a bigger purpose. And and that's me coming back to this, and then obviously Kinergy with what, with what we're gonna talk about. But um, but yeah, there there is purpose. Um, but sometimes you have to ask those really deep questions. Yeah. So on to the subject of Kinergy. Will you just tell me a little bit about um, you 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 call it a whole self experience, and I, I would love you to just elaborate on that and tell us about a little bit about what it is and what that means. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, my whole life I've been dancing and dancing has always been my form of therapy, even before I knew that it was a form of therapy. Um, and, you know, I, I moved away from my parents when I was 10 years old. And through that experience, I learned how to build up a lot of survival tactics um, and make sure that I was protected and that I was safe and that nobody could come into my space and I was going to be successful and I was going to be all these things. So I built up all these survival tactics over the years and they served their purpose. I was able to achieve a lot of my goals that I put out for myself. Um, but then there was an emptiness inside of me because I felt like, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? But why do I feel like it's not enough? And so I went into um, my dancing again. Yeah, just validation. I needed it from other people to, to know that what I had done was good enough or that I had been successful and proved the people that told me that I wasn't going to be successful wrong. <laughs> um, so I was doing it for other people. And I realized that I, I lost a lot of the purpose of why I began to dance in the first place, that self-expression. I lost that to being perfect. And so as I started reconnecting back to my dancing, I was realizing, wow, I'm starting to come alive again. And I'm starting to shed off all these beliefs and the, these thoughts in my mind that were making me feel unworthy. And as I started diving into my own transformation and got really curious and started, you know, being very goopy and doing all the goopy things, um, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I, I really, I really learned that our body holds so much information and stores 
stores memories, experiences, emotions, traumas, and that if we can move our body and surrender our mind to our body, we can transform and 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 really take the energy that was driving us and that old identity and that old belief system and just dissolve it and then create from a place of pure potentiality. Potentiality? That's a word. Um, it is and now. It is now. <laughs> and from there I realized, okay, there's got to be more to the body and that we can have the joy of transformation versus the fear of change. And if we can dance and celebrate and be fully expressed, that feels more encouraging than like having to do something perfect or right or wrong or get a rock hard body. So that was a long way to give you the background of Kinergy, but Kinergy is about moving our body, breathing and activating our imagination so that we can come back to that childlike wonderment when we believed anything and everything was possible. And then we started adulting and we forgot that along the way. So <laughs> how did you invent it? How did you come to understand? How did you get the idea around the elements? How did you get the idea for the sequence of it? So I think um, I think in life you kind of had these little seeds that are planted or I like to call them Easter eggs where they were kind of planted around my life and I didn't know what they meant at the time. But I mean, Years ago, I wanted to be a psychologist. When I was 15, I wanted, I moved back from London. I was gonna to go to school and I wanted to be a psychologist. And then I went to, are you guys hearing that music? Okay. Um, <laughs> you weren't? Okay, that music just came on, no worries. Um, so I wanted to be a psychologist. And then as, as my career was starting to take off, I really got interested in like Ayurvedic teachings. And funny enough, my brother and I did a, a dance tour and it was all designed in the elements. And I had no idea why they were designed in the elements, but it, that's what came, came through me and I wanted to do that. And then a couple of years later, as I was really diving into um, figuring out what this modality was I just kept hearing through the elements we are nature by nature you know like we don't have to go outside of ourselves to feel what is true and natural within ourselves and we are basically nature and and so that was it sort of just came through me and then I've taken different modalities like Qigong and Tai Chi um, martial arts breath work um, yoga uh, different forms of dance from different cultures around the world and learned about their tribes and their communities and how they they danced in either celebration or they danced for healing they danced for their crops they danced for fertility I mean dance is a universal language so I basically was just like a kid in a candy store just learning about everything that I could learn and kind of put it into Kinergy <laughs> incredible I mean I've I've had the pleasure of doing it and I found it to be such an incredible holistic catharsis and um, I'm just so excited that everybody here is gonna get to to try this today it's so exciting um, so I so is there anything that you want to tell everybody before they start around like any any preparation, any mental preparation, any physical preparation, anything we need to know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, and I actually give a a little bit of an intro before we go into the class, but I will just say like I just want to thank you first and foremost for leading the way and being a pioneer in something that. No, I'm I'm really serious because this you've you've been someone that I've looked up to to take a risk and and be courageous in what you believe and a lot of people um, you know have opinions and when you're a pioneer it can be a lonely road sometimes and I just want to commend you for just the courageousness of who you are and just planting your flag and I just think you're freaking awesome. <laughs> so much that means the world to me and the whole and likewise world and you know what you're 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 here to do something very deeply healing and it comes from such an incredibly pure place and 
I know that when everybody tries that. So I'm so excited that you're doing this today to, to let our audience in on the unbelievable power of what you've created. And um, you're just, you're so special. So I can't wait for this to start. Thank you. And yeah, I guess I'll give a little taster of what this is. Uh, you know, you're going to, the more you give, the more you'll get. So the more you play and just like activate that child inside of you again and get out of your head and into your heart, into your body, your body is your language. Your body will tell you how it wants to be moved. And so you, this is you, this is about you. It's not about perfection. It's about expression. And just allow yourself to to know what's already true within you. And if there are tears that come, if there's laughter that comes, if there's um, anger that comes, you know, I'm sure because being a part of the Goop community, you know that those are all things to honor and to work through and move through and that it's beautiful and that all those things are just ways for us to grow and evolve. So um, just just commit to yourself that you're here to play full out. I love it. Um, <laughs> so if, if you can't do the, the workout right now, it'll be on the site for two weeks. Um, just goop at, at goop.com slash in goop health. And um, you can follow, please do follow Kinergy on Instagram. It's K-I-N-R-G-Y um, or kinergy.com. So we can all continue to follow your amazing work and uh, now I'm gonna bow out and I'm gonna let you take over <laughs> thank you so much sending love thank your you way so much. you too